What's up guys? R&W here. <clears throat> it's been a while. Uh, been real busy with the band and uh, had a little spell where I didn't feel good there too, but uh, excuses, excuses. Anyway, I think nobody feels good anymore, so anyways, let's do it. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, If My Mind Is Evil. We are on Big Game. I believe it's 1989. Yeah, I think so. But anyway, uh, this is part one, and this is requested by uh, Back for One More, and also longtime fellow musician and friend Chris Roten. Uh, he also requested this one. Usually, don't have two different people. Pickles, come on, bud. He wants in this one. We usually don't have two different people, but on this one we do. So here we go. We're gonna fade in with the. Uh, we're gonna do. I think there's a couple different things going on there together on the recording, but here's what I come up with. We're going to hit A string, D string, and G string, 7th harmonic, 7th fret harmonic, all the way down. And then we're going to turn up the volume knob and hit the bar and slowly down. Okay, like that. I don't have a big tremolo system here, so uh, we won't be doing that too hard on that, so... Anyways, that's that, and then once that comes back up, we're going to do uh, a little power chord, e, uh, A string, 7th fret, and D string, 9th fret, okay, open E, and then we're going to go into... Like that, I'll play it here in a second, uh, through... We got that uh, E string open, 7th fret on your A, 9th fret on your D, and to 7A, 8th fret on your D, okay? Like this. Let me get it. just a hair bit more volume, guys. Just a little bit more. We got that buzzing going on. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse my sniffing. So we got... Little pitch scrape. Whoops, not, not E there. And then you're going to go after this. Little uh, either vibrata. <laughs> Or a little whammy bar vibrato there. Or this. That little uh, chord there is your D string, 8th fret, and G string, 9th fret together. Okay? And then we're going to do the pick scrape. And then we're going to go... And we're going to go 6th uh, fret on your A to... 8th fret on your D, and you're going to kind of ride on the 6th fret on your A. Wait a minute here, folks. Okay. Okay. I messed up there. A string, 6th fret. D string, 9th fret. Into A6, D8. Okay? And ride on your 6th on your A. Okay? Okay, so there we go. 6A, 9D, 6A, 8D. And then we got uh, this chord is your D, 6th fret, G, 7th fret, and B, 8th fret. A little whammy bar action there. Pick scrape again. And then we got Okay, then here we got uh, uh would be fourth fret on your A, seventh fret on your D, to fourth fret on your A, sixth fret on your D. Two, 
third on your A, seven on your D, to third on your A, five on your D. Riding your third fret on your A on this one. Then a B power chord, two on your A, four on your D. Okay, so here we got the, uh, like I said, B power chord, second fret on your A, fourth fret on your D, and then we let your D string ring out with the power chord when you hit it, then we got two hammer on to three, and then open two again on your A. And then just O2 on a third time. Whoops. I'll do it all together here. So we got. sixth fret you're gonna go do this Okay, so here, after we got the B power chord into the hammer-ons and the pull-offs, we got squeal action here. First fret on your D string to second fret on your A. Okay. First D, second fret A. And then we're going to go back to first on your D again. Okay. Uh, and then pull off or hammer on two to three on your A second on your A still squealing open on your A three two O on your E okay You got an E power chord, open E, second fret on your A, and then two on your A to five on your A, right in your A in between, and then seven on your A to five on your D, to five on your A, four on your D, open E, four, four on your D and G, and then Open D, G, 2-2 two, two on your D, G, E power chord. Open E, second from your A. Here we go. Hit it. 
that second part is uh, E power chord, open E, second fret on your A, second fret on your A again, so five on your A, okay, five four slide on your D, to five on your A, it does a little bit of squeal action in these notes to give it the, the, the flavor that the song has, just got that mean sound. Okay. Okay. Second time, we got E power chord, open E to uh, second fret on your A, two, five on your A string. And then, like I said, slide five to four, to five on your A, slide four to two on your D, to three on your A, and then you hit half of like a G add nine chord there, or C add nine chord, uh, third fret on your A, second fret on your D, to open G, and then uh, C. G open and go back into it. Okay? Now let me try to play this through. After we go. I don't really know that. I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, there it is, guys. That's part one. And we're going to do part two, which uh, that's pre-verse intro. So we're going to start in with the uh, verse riff. Very cool, uh, menacing sounding riff there when it comes in with the vocals. So we'll do part two coming up here. And uh, hope you guys liked it. And r and signing out. And also Pickles. Say later, Pickles. All right, thanks, guys.